Welcome back to my channel Excellent 14x. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about telomere and telomeres DNA replication at the age of the chromosome in eukaryotes. So as you know that the leading strand replication is towards the, the replication fork, but the lagging strand it replication in its opposite direction of the replication fork as you see in this diagram. But uh, after replication process, the all of the primers it removed by the RNAs H enzyme and FEN1. But after removal of the primers in the leading strand, there is no problem. So why? So as you see in this diagram that in the leading strand, after removal of this primer, still there is a 3' prime end. So 3' prime end means there is OH group. So as you know that the DNA polymerase it can add nucleotide from 3' prime to 5' prime direction. So this gap fulfilled by the DNA polymerase. So for the leading strand there is no issue. But the problem arises in the lagging strand. So in between lagging strand there are a lot of primers and there are short short fragments. These fragments are known as the Okazaki fragments. And in the Okazaki fragment, there are two prime, two region, five prime and three prime region. So the DNA polymerase delta it comes and it bind from here and then it add nucleotide sequence from three prime to five prime direction. Then this in between these gaps are fulfilled by the DNA polymerase delta. So there is no problem. But the, so let me fill this gap first but the problem arises in the 3 prime end so here as you see the here this is the 5 prime end so there is no OH group and uh, DNA polymerase it won't add nucleotide in this part and it won't uh, polymerize this fragment because this is the 5 prime end it so this is why uh, this overhang region it formed in the lagging strand it always formed it always formed in the three prime region so this is known as the overhang region so in each and every cycle we could lose our genes from the three prime end of the lagging strand if there is no telomere and telomerase so here the telomere and telomerase it plays the main important function. So what happened then? So next the, the telomere, telom, you know the telomere there it has uh, some specific sequence and that specific sequence contains a lot of G. So percentage of the G is higher in the telomere sequence. So this is one of the telomere sequence in the 3' prime region and uh, noted that the this telomere sequence is varies from organism to organism. So in different organism it has different kind of uh, sequence of the telomere and this telomere it always developed or always formed in the age of the chromosome. So this blue color it is showing the telomere. So next telomerase come telomerase is one of the reverse transcriptase enzyme and this has it has some complementary sequence and telomerase it bind the last two nucleotide base so as you see here the, the g and t and uh, telomerase it bind with a and c all right and then this sequence is filled by the telomere. So telomere actually it extend this sequence and remember that this sequence actually this is the non-coding sequence. This is the junk region. The, the main function of this telomere is just to protect the main genome from being cleavage by the FEN1. So again when this is stretched this uh, sequence is extended by the telomere then again the telomerase comes and telomerase again it uh, it bind in the end of the two nucleotide base as you see here and then it extended one 
more further left side all right so this is how in the three prime region this uh, this sequence is extended by the telomere and this chunk region formed and next the prime is it comes and it recruit the primer the rna primer in the in the three prime region and then dna polymer is alpha it uh, add nucleotide from three prime to five prime direction and then it it fulfill this gap it this gap is filled off by the dna polymer is alpha but this is a rna primer right so rna primer must be removed from the dna strand so the rna is h this enzyme comes and then it removed the rna primer so upon removal of this primer then again this overhang region it formed again the same problem arised so now what happens now the fen one that is a flap flapping enzyme and this enzyme it it cleaved out this flapped or overhang region so after cleaved out this overhang region then this uh, this complete gene or complete dna sequence it formed so this is how telomere and telomerase it uh, it protect our our main gene sequence at the three prime end so now i'm going to talk about the aging so aging is actually is closely related to the telomere so at 20 years of the age the average telomere length is around 8000 bps and over time the sequence of the telomere is getting shorter and shorter so this is how if it is if you consider this is the main sequence at the 20 years of age and then it keep short it getting shorter and uh, and then sequence is uh, like this is very smaller so we keep losing 35 to 150 base pairs per year until we reach a level of less than 4500 bps where the chromosome gets unstable so when this 4500 bps it's uh, it's being uh, it this kind of telomere sequence is lost over time then what happens then the chromosome gets unstable and there is a cleavage cleave out of the main gene sequence at the three prime end of the lagging strand and the outcome is there are serious health issues because in the in the five in the three prime end it might have some important genes and if we lose these genes over time gradually then that leads to a serious health problem all right so this is all about uh, telomere telomerase and the replication in at the three prime end of the lagging strand as you see in this in this figure it looks like this this is uh, this is higher longer sequence but over time period it uh, it lose the sequence and it getting shorter and shorter